there's four type of people in life, all right? Now, I will say this is from my observation, my observation, my experience, but basically what I've noticed is that there are four type of people in life, all right? And I will be categorizing these four type of people and classifying them by group one, group two, group three, and group four, all right? So let's get into it, all right, y'all? Now, group one. Group one are the type of people, they want something, they gonna go get it. They gonna go after it. They gonna make a way, okay? Group one are the go-getters, okay? Next, we have group two. Group two don't know exactly what they want, so they copy members of group one. They go through life copying. So they tend to copy group one and go after the things that group one goes after, all right? And then next you have group three, those that sit back, all right? <laughs> and watch group one, all right? They watch group one as well, all right? They sit back and watch group one get everything that group one goes after, all right? Instead of going after what they want, all right? So group three, they sit back, they watch group one go after everything that group one go after and, and they watch group one achieve and get everything that group one go after instead of going after what they want, okay? And last but not least, we have group four, all right? And group four are those who are inspired by group one, all right? They're inspired, okay? So, basically, so far, what I have broke down is you have, like I said, four type of people in life, all right? Group one are the go-getters in life. Group two are the copycats in life. They go through life copying, okay? Um, copying others, stealing others' work, ideals, all that type of stuff. Pal two are copycats slash con artists, okay? And then you have pal three. I feel like PAL 3 live in fear, you know? PAL 3, they don't do anything. PAL 3 are very scared to step out of their comfort zone, so they, PAL 3 stay in the safe zone, okay? They stay in their comfort zone, basically, all right? What they feel is the safe zone, anyways. And then you got group four. Did I call group three PAL 3? Child, y'all know I'm so used to these cars, honey, because I feel like I call group three, pal three. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> group four, I want to call them inspiring, okay? They have inspiration, okay? Group four get inspiration from group one, okay? Now, what I want to get into is that if you notice both group two and group three, what they have in common is that they are both focused on group one. They are both very focused on group one. And um, if you ask me, that's their problem, you know? Um, they're so busy focused on group one. But if you notice, group one is focused on, if you notice, actually group two, group three, and group four, all are focused on group one. Um, but group four tends to take some type of inspiration from group one and i feel like most people who are the members of group four in life they tend to end up being moving on up to group one you know what i'm saying because they get inspired and then next thing you know they a member of group one but the other two group two and group three they both what they both have in common is that they both way too focused on group one and um if you notice group one is focused on group one 
and the things that they're trying to get or accomplish for themselves in their life. Group one stays in their lane, okay? But group two and group three do not, you know? They all up in group one lane. So basically, the moral of the story is go after what you want in life. Go after what you want in life, all right? And know that you're going to always have copycats as you progress in life, all right? Um, and you're going to always have people who's mad at you or hating in the background because you're making sh happen in your life and they're not doing what they truly want to do in their own lives, all right? And so some of them will sit back and watch you and live by curious through you and others rather sit back and have um, rather sit back and hate on you and gossip about you, all right? So you're going to have those type of people. You're going to have them group two type of people, them group three. A lot of people who are a part of group three, they love to, they rather hate, you know. They feel some type of way. And they rather hate and they rather gossip. And, you know, things of that nature. But, like I said, you know, you're going to have that. You just, you're going to have that. But the thing is, you know, they, they hate or they make gossip. They sit back, you know, you... It's only because truly deep down they're upset with themselves for letting fear hold them back from creating the life that they truly want to live. So, you know, unfortunately, you're going to have those type of people out there. It's, it's fear that holds a lot of people back. And so if they see you out there achieving and going after what you want and they're not, it, it's, it kind of triggers people, okay? It triggers some people. And so, um, a lot of people, because it kind of shines light on, like, their shortcomings and what they could have done or what they could be doing. And, you know, yeah, instead of looking at you like an inspiration, if you're a part of group one, you're going to have people who just, they don't want to see you in that light and they're not going to get any inspiration from you. Um, just more hate. But, um... One last thing before I end this message is I want to give one last example before I end this message, okay? Now, you have two people, all right? Two people that want a Mercedes, a Mercedes Benz, okay? And their sisters, okay, will say their names is Sarah and Sally, right? Okay, so they both want a Mercedes Benz, okay? Both of the sisters, Sarah and Sally, both want a Mercedes-Benz, okay? But then the thing about it is um, Sarah, Sarah, she starts picking up, you know, more hours at her job. She even decides that she's going to get a little weekend job or whatnot. And um, she's just really working and she's even saving up to get a Mercedes-Benz. But then you got Sally who's not really working um she works but you know she's take a lot of you know call out for work on weekends she's just partying she's just clubbing she's doing whatever but then you got sarah who's basically grinding and she's saving her money she even picked up extra shifts and stuff and so a year and a half later sarah has a mercedes-benz all right sally do not all right? And then Sally gets a little jealous of Sarah Mercedes-Benz. But see, here's the thing about it. Sarah put in the work. They both wanted a Mercedes-Benz, but Sarah decided to put in the work for that Mercedes-Benz, okay? Sarah decided to actually make this happen, okay? Do what she had to do to get the money to get that Mercedes-Benz. Sally did not, okay? So in the end, or a year and a half later, Sarah pulling up with her new Mercedes Benz. But she worked for it. So the thing is, when it comes to life, it's about like, do you want it? Do you really want it? Do you really want it or not? You know, do you want it? Because if you ask me the difference between Sarah and Sally is that Sarah basically wanted it more than Sally. You know, Sally could have looked over at her sister and be like, okay, I'm going to get like you. Like, we finna do this the damn thing. You know, we going we gonna to get us matching Mercedes Benz. But the thing is, Sally was over there doing, you know what I'm saying, when as serious. And Sarah 
made this happen. Instead of dreaming about it, they both was dreaming like, yes, that's our dream car. Yes, we want it. Sarah decided to take action on this shit. Sarah decided to, you know, actually do something about it. Instead of dreaming about it, Sarah decided like, I'm going I'm to save up. I'm going to make some money. I'm going to do this and that. I'm going to focus on getting this Mercedes Benz, okay? Because I'm tired of us talking about it. It's our dream car. I'm going to get this. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to make this happen for myself. And so she, Sarah did. A year and a half later, Sarah pulled up with her hunk, hunk, Mercedes Benz on that ass, okay? And Sally was a little jelly, okay? Sally was a little jelly of her sister because, you know, Sarah just, just didn't talk to talk, baby. She walked the walk. She took action on it. And Sally didn't do shit but dream on it. And that's the type of people you have in life. You got people who sits back and dream. Instead of going out there to actually get what they want. I don't know if Sally thought, you know, Mercedes Benz was just going to drop down in her driveway out, thin, out of thin air or what. I don't know what Sally thought. But Sarah said, oh, I want this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to pick up extra shift. I'm going to focus on it. I'm going to put back money for this. And I'm going to get this. And so Sarah did. So who you think Sarah, Sarah? Sarah is a part of group one, basically. And Sally is like a part of group three. Because Sally was, when her sister pulled up with the Mercedes Benz, Sally was a little jelly. Sally was a little jelly. You know? But that's the thing about it in life. Them the type of people, you got too many Sallys out here sitting around not bringing their dreams into reality and stuff and get mad at people that they see out here actually doing it. Actually doing it. So they sit back and be mad and hating when they shouldn't be mad at nobody but themselves. And deep down, they really do. But people rather take it out on other people than to sit there and take accountability. That shit hurt. That shit hurt. For them to be like, damn, I was half-assing. Damn, Sarah really deserved it. But you got some people, like Sally, they'll feel like you don't deserve it. When you actually deserve it, you actually put in the work and stuff. Eat blood, sweat, and tears, even if you didn't, even if people didn't see it. Even if Sally didn't see her sister, because she was too busy, especially on weekends, party and stuff. Even if she didn't see her sister put in the work and take them extra shifts and stuff, you know, that don't mean nothing. So... I hope y'all get where I'm coming from. I'll be trying to break it down with examples and stories. But, you know, moral of the story is that you got to put some work in. You know what I mean? And, you know, and there's people you just be careful. Because, you know, and watch out. You know, those of you, if you group one, even if you group four, just know that, you know, it's, it's going to be copycats. It's going to be haters. It's going to be naysayers. You know, it's going to be things that you're also going to have some people that you inspire to low key um, just by your actions. Yeah, that completes my message, y'all. I hope it was like some type of food for thought, I'll say, you know. And I hope I explained it pretty well for y'all. I hope y'all kind of get what I'm, where I'm coming from. You know, show you girls some love. Give it a like, comment, or subscribe, you know. And yeah, I hope it was like helpful or, you know, y'all get where i was coming from but i'm out this thing y'all until next time